Finally. There we go. Tonight. Finally, the NBA is back. Mavs are in Boston getting ready to, to, to do things, Chandler. Um, let's just start. We got a million questions. Put as we KD get, in are you, what are we doing? Every once in a while, you got to get a jumper up. Is that it is true? What, it is what it is. And what are you doing? Ow. Yeah, see, don't. That's embarrassing. <coughs> um, you're 100. Uh, Whose legacy? Let's start there. Legacies start tonight. See, we've had this conversation about, like, leg uh, it's not Tatum or Luka because they have so much time, right? I think whose legacy is affected by this the most is Kyrie Irving. He's already got one he can get a game he can overcome every negative headline that's ever been about him all the the, the you know the hot water he's been in now he has a chance to go into what's going to be an extremely hostile environment that he kind of created which is fine True that. but now this dude is happy and he's playing at such an elite level where i think this if he can somehow pull this off and get another championship with everything he's been through playing second fiddle to luca on most nights but then also being the guy on some other nights and going back into boston and knocking off a heavy favorite favorite who you used to play for where it didn't really pan out kind of nice. it's got to be kyrie irving to me just because tatum brown luca these guys are so young they're gonna get back they're too good they're too talented so i think it's kyrie irving yeah these young guys they're they're going to get their fair cracks at, at winning it. But I feel like the guys' legacies who are going to be affected the most is going to be Luka, Tatum, and Brown because you, you get an opportunity to be a part of that coveted championship group. We, every, the league has superstars. We have all-stars. We have guys that we love. But when it comes to championships, that is a special group. That is a special, <clears throat> special thing that you can be a part of. And so for that, Kyrie is already there. Kyrie is already True. one of those guys. He has a ring already. He's a part of that group already. For one of these guys to have that opportunity to join him on the other side of uh, NBA royalty, I think it's going to be one of these young guys. Can I throw something to Please. someone else out there? Sure. I think it's also Joe Mazzulla. Not, no, not everyone's convinced on him. Now he has a chance to become a championship coach. He's got to the mountaintop and he actually succeeded and did it. That, this is huge story. for him as well because I, around the, every conversation I heard, is he the right fit? If they don't win this, is he the one is to he, go yeah. because they're going to mm -hmm. keep Brown and Tatum together? So I think his legacy and his career and his future in Boston has a lot to do with that. And make a case with Jason Kidd. Well, he just got an extension, at least. I feel like Missoula is kind of like, the, you know what I mean? Well, like, Missoula was sort of like, uh, we have to get rid of this guy, so you're up, and then we'll just see how it plays out. Yeah, it was and almost like an years. intern. It was like an internship he turned into a real he's job. Done <laughs> he's done and now he's done good, so now can he get over the He's stump? an odd bird. Can he finish so the job? Like yeah, can he finish the job? <laughs> oh, I love his quality. It's like the, the bright slider, and he's like, unless they change the light bulb, he's they're just, not brighter. I'm like, he's just kind of he's, a that's weird the kind of guy he is. He watches, what is it, the town every day? Or some crazy, I don't Okay. Which is a great movie. It's a it's a fine movie. Every day, but every no day. movie is an everyday. Great Goonies, movie. maybe I would watch every. Never day. seen maybe. Goonies. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you seen Goonies? I've never seen Goonies. Guys, it's hard. They're hard to look at. What? Oh, is it a scary That's movie? That's Gremlins. No, they're Goonies. <laughs> it, we're talking about the guy with the one eyeball in the middle his of his name head. is Sloth. There's That's finally a game at. tonight. We're talking about hey, you the goddamn guys. Goonies. <laughs> we're, we're easily distracted. Okay, I we have, here. all of us have brain problems. <laughs> um, fine, let's get back to it. So, so the we obviously know the garden tonight, uh, TD is going to be ridiculously loud <clears throat> and hostile. Um, do you think, I think there's two schools of thought, and I don't think it's the first one. Kyrie goes in there and crumbles. Or... Kyrie goes in there and just uses the hate. Listen, <laughs> the, the place is saged that down one. already. <laughs> saged. Um, the vibes, are, the vibes up here, and Kyrie better than anybody else knows what what's to be expected. He played in Boston. He experienced this crowd. He was once a part of the 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 guys that they were cheering for. So he he knows what to expect. This one this won't affect <clears> him at all. If anything, he's going to be motivated. But Kyrie is the guy that he showed you. I'm centered. He's centered at all times. He never gets too high, never gets too low. He embraces the moment, embraces everything that comes with it. I, I, I look forward to a, a great series from him, and I don't think he's in, impacted by this at all. Yeah, he's been through this already going <laughs> back there. He's already had the, 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 he handled it wrong before. He's not going to do it again. If anything, I think it's going to fuel him and motivate him, and he's going to have a hell of a game.